So as far as my top five favorite albums that deal with my favorite tones, I'd have to go back and say Van Halen one again, because that is the kind of like the holy grail of, of tones. <laughs> Van Halen using an older plexi Marshall head with the attenuator that he had messing with the voltage to get the brown sound and uh, really it's just I think the best organic guitar tone ever and I think a lot of people base their tones off that to this day so that goes down as my number one. Number two is is interesting uh, I kind of call him the Eddie Van Halen of Japan but his name is Akira Takasaki and he's in a band called Loudness, and this was an album that came out around 1984-ish called Thunder in the East. This was produced by Max Norman, and basically it's another one of those stories with an older Marshall uh, with a green pedal in front of it, some kind of boost, and uh, it sounds excellent. It's just very blade-like and ripping, and the whole album just is absolutely stunning, and I love the songwriting, and the tone just is one of my favorites as well. Number three, I would say, aside being another one of my favorite guitar albums, would be Jason Becker's Perpetual Burn. <laughs> This is where I really got influenced by the chirpiness of the notes in the lead sections and notes really sitting on top of mix nicely is Jason's playing on this and his tone on this album. Perpetual Burn, number three, great album. Number four, I would say is probably Brian May uh, with the Queen album, A Night at the Opera. <laughs> Not only does Brian have a really interesting tone on this album, um, <laughs> like all of the Queen albums, uh, it's just a kind of tone that really rips through the mix and comes through with all his beautiful harmonies and stuff like that. So, you know, I think a lot of it has to do with his hands and his heart and his amps and his guitar that was built by him and his father, uh, giving him that unique tone. So uh, yeah, A Night at the Opera by Queen, number four. Number five, I would say, is probably by a guitarist by the name of Michael Schenker, who had an album uh, back then called Assault Attack. And I've always really looked up to Michael Schenker's playing. <laughs> He's using the Flying V, uh, his trademark Flying V, and uh, Marshall amps, of course. And uh, one thing that's very interesting about his playing is his use of the cocked wah, kind of keeping it, rather using it like, like Kirk Hammett or something in a solo. He's just kind of setting it in the middle position and getting a very kind of like almost nasally tone in his lead playing that really just cuts through and sounds killer. So uh, yeah, Michael Schenker, Assault Attack, number five. These are my top five tone albums of all time. Thanks for watching. This is Jeff Loomis. Peace.